Thanks God, all good. Did you have a, a good uh, uh, breakfast this uh, morning? Yeah. yeah, we had a good breakfast so far. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, <laughs> all in the same time, so all amazing. Generations <laughs> grow in agave, but three generations making tequila. An extrañejo, three years to the whatever. The oldest one that we have here is 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Those are the classes, okay? Yeah, yeah for Mr. Posado. Reposado, perfect. Another A. My God. Oh. Okay. That, that's what we call a melga. And this is a line. In a melga, you need to leave three meters. And one meter between one plant and another. And these plants are very intelligent because they pops up. And when the mother is from two, from two years, four years, is when we take those zones and we replant them. We cut them in two, or we cut them in three. Normally, normally we cut them in two, but this, this was very big. This is a very good agave. And here, we take away the cogollo. This is the cogollo, okay, this part of here. In, in every single step, you need to uh, make the difference from the big ones. And it's a small detail. Of course, I'm not going to give you all the recipes. Those are <laughs> secrets. Of course, ask Coca-Cola, you know? Moreover, yeah, we have yeah. Food from everywhere. So. Yeah, yeah so. But, but I need to let you know something that makes the difference uh, between the big ones and, uh, and we. It's like a diamond without polish, okay. but the notes that we are smelling are the same that we are going to taste. When the process is like here, till this, and it's moving and it's dancing with the rhythm of the classical music. This is the reason why you put music. Yeah, that's the reason that we have the speakers. And this is make, a, you are a vibration, we are a vibration, our voice is a vibration, and we have a theory. And that gives us a chance to mix from one uh, liquid to another and make a new profile. All charcoal, yep. and then we burn it, burn it again. This and start the fermentation. But they are using a lot of chemicals. What, what, what we do is to something that we call pie de cepa. In a small bucket, we get the juice, that juice that you and me uh, mm -hmm. taste it and we add a peaceful of uh, for Viva Mexico champagne yeast okay. bring that uh, alcohol here and through this pipe like? go the steam and when this get hot start the evaporation and go all the way up room where we have the uh, special barrels always has to be at the same temperature. What are the brands that we do? Okay. Oh, no, and, this and is the one of La Reina del Sur, the narco serie. Oh, yeah, she's there. Look at the picture. Frankie, here we have French barrels, okay? New ones. The taste of the tequila is very easy, it's four steps. One is the eyes, second the nose, third the mouth, fourth the swallow. Pour, pour, no, pour a very small amount of tequila and go all the way through the tongue and then swallow. And after that we exhale. What we do is to, uh, I prefer to go this way rather than this one because in this one you shake the, the liquid and in this, this technique the liquid is always in the same place. We don't want to stress this. We don't want to stress 
So we go like this. And then we check the body. Longer it takes to cry, to show the legs. After how many seconds? It, can, it's screaming. You can say that it's good. After five seconds? Okay, five seconds. Lo longer, longer it, it takes to show the uh, drops or to show the legs, better. That means that this tequila is not very liquid, it's creamy. But turn your cheek to the other side, yeah, that side. And now, now, you're gonna go the crossover and you're gonna think that someone changed your drink. Like this, look at me. Smell totally different. And I look more sexy, <laughs> but also I grab more uh, notes in this side because my right hemisphere, it's in the left side of my head. So if I go like that, I could, I, I cannot have all the notes in this side, but in this side, our tongue we may go straight from the uh, 